When we first hit play in this sim, we see rays emerge from the young man's shoe. Of course, the shoe is not itself a source of light. It is reflecting the ambient light that is bouncing around the room from various light sources. These rays in fact travel in every direction from the shoe. After all, couldn't you see his shoe from almost anywhere in the room? We've decided to just throw three rays as representative of all the possible rays reflected by the shoe. Many of these rays bounce off the mirror. We've shown two of them. One of them passes into the eye of the young man, which means he sees it. The rays reflecting off the mirror seem to be emerging from a point in space behind the mirror. We trace the direction of the light rays back to the point in space from which they appear to emerge. We use dotted lines to show that these are not real light rays. They just show the path the light rays appear to come from. We have placed an image of the young man to the right of the mirror. This is called a virtual image because the light rays are not really coming from that point in space. They just appear to be. In this configuration, the young man can see his shoe. So the mirror is long enough. Let's shorten the mirror and see what happens. When we shorten the mirror to four feet, clearly no longer a full length mirror, what do you think will happen? The young man can still see his shoe. How can that be? Well, the law of reflection says that a light ray bounces off a mirror at the same angle it hits. If the bottom of the mirror is at least half the distance from his shoe to his eye, he should be able to see his foot. Isn't that odd? What happens when the young man moves closer? he can still see his shoe. In fact, the distance to the mirror doesn't matter at all. No matter what, if the mirror is at least half as tall as you are, you'll be able to see your whole body. This is one way to remember and think about the law of equal angles, the law of reflection. Play around with rays from different locations, try different mirror lengths, and see what you can discover.